Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Traveling with Jose. I'm Jose, and for today's video, I'm bringing you another vlog here in El Salvador. still in El Salvador. Uh, right now I'm at this place called Campo Bello. I will be leaving soon because it's um, the next morning I actually arrived last night. So at this place you can stay at these igloos and it's gonna be $60 a night for at least four people. Right behind this igloo is uh, Isalco Volcano, uh, which is an active volcano by the way. Also more igloos here. And one right in front of me. Uh, but I did talk to uh, the person that takes care of this place. And he told me they're making more igloos. And bigger igloos at that. And I'll actually walk up to where I'm staying. And where they're building one right now. So this is the one that we were staying at. We already checked, our, we already checked out. But the door's still open. So I'll show you guys the rooms. You get a small fridge, table, chairs. You have your bed. Pretty basic, but pretty spacious. You get a restroom. Also, before I leave, I wanna show you guys this one. This is the one that they're constructing. And the guys are actually here right now uh, building it. You can, I don't know if you can tell, let me zoom in making the window uh, right now I also want to show you guys one of my favorite cafes here in El Salvador we're going to walk towards uh, the cafe so if you arrive early there is a one dollar fee for parking a dollar fifty fee for each person that's uh, I guess getting admittance to this place this place is called Los Volcanes Bistro Cafe so uh, Bistro Cafe, the volcanoes, and you'll see why in a second. But this place is called uh, Cafe Volcanes because you can see volcanoes, and the main one is right next to me. Uh, Isalco Volcano, the one that we saw from uh, the Acampo Bello where the igloos were at. But this is my favorite cafe, and the cafe on this side, we, which we just went ahead and ordered breakfast. I'll show you in a second. So we did get our coffee here. And I can tell you, I can drink this all the time. And this is why, one of the reasons I am proud of Salvadorian coffee, out of you know all the places that do grow coffee, because it is, in my opinion, one of the best places to drink coffee. As you can see guys, this place is a chill uh, hangout spot. I'm gonna pan around to Yuto, who's looking at the menu. And again, right in front of us is the volcano. I want to show you the menu of what you can order. So they have they have traditional hot chocolate, uh, Salvadorian made chocolate. They have uh, the breakfast here. We ordered this one right here, which was uh, a muffin with bacon and plantains. You can also get um, desserts here if you come in the afternoon, or maybe if it's that time and you want to drink, you can also get that here. Not a big menu, but a beautiful place. All right, so breakfast is here, guys. Uh, we have our biscuit with plantains, a side of fruit, and then we ordered extra. This is called casamiento, so this is beans and rice. All goes together. Finished with breakfast. Uh, great place. I'm, I'm telling you, one of my favorite here. Uh, but behind me, I want to show you, this is where we park our cars, but up here where all these people are is a lookout point uh, for the volcano. Of course, that's right there. I'm going to take you guys a little bit closer. 
there's a lot of uh, tourists here today and uh, actually today is December 31st so happy new year I know this video will not be uploaded till probably the end of January uh, but a uh, happy new year uh, wishing you guys the best uh, thank you again for the uh, what 20,000 plus subscribers since I started a couple years ago so uh, thanks for everything guys thank you guys for watching uh, let me know what you think of El Salvador of this place if you have any questions let me know always happy to answer your questions so we're gonna go to the lookout point my favorite coffee shop like I told you guys is right here uh, if you want to park your car you can inside over here I was uh, talking to uh, some of the staff there's also they're gonna construct a hotel uh, there's a trail that you guys can go to and then over here we have the uh, lookout spot. Uh, right now I'm taking you to uh, Lago de Coatepeque, so a pretty famous uh, lake here in El Salvador. Alright guys, so parked right there. I am at a uh, lookout, a uh, mirador here and we are going i am going to show you a view of lago de cuatepeque pretty much the most famous lake we have in el salvador <coughs> beautiful and that's where we're going to next but i wanted to show you from this viewpoint so this is el mirador not the safest looking thing so we're just going to stay on, along the edge but you can see the lake right in front of me Lago de Coatepeque, I see boats already, uh, I know that we can rent jet skis if we wanted to, so very very picturesque place. Since lately I've been doing this like kind of pan around thing where I'm like in the shot, here's me, here's the lago, right behind me, Yuto on this unsafe looking mirador but there's plenty around so actually if you are renting a car here in El Salvador or if you have a means of transportation the roads are not bad at all as you can see here they're all paved they're nicely painted you do have to be weary when you go around the corners of course but definitely something you can do here in El Salvador you can come to Campo, de Be Campo Bello you can come to uh, the lake here Lago de Coatepeque so much to do here in El Salvador but we are back to our mission which is going to Lago de Coatepeque I'll tell you now that today is not planned at all other than we're gonna be in a certain area so right now we actually drove by Lago de Coatepeque so the lake and actually we found a restaurant uh, which is called La Pampa I have been to different locations but uh, I always like my experience there so I brought Yuto so now we're gonna go on in I actually didn't know there was valet parking and I parked already but this is it here you can see the name of the place is La Pampa and it's gonna be La Pampa Coatepeque because this is the uh, lake that we're at okay, so we are going to walk into the restaurant we do already have our seats but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like all right so you do get a view of the lake here you can see there's a lot of families here enjoying their lunchtime. So this is it, this is the Grand Lago de Coatepeque. And we have chosen to sit right over here. We just got uh, some soup. It's a pretty much beef soup with uh, vegetables and then we got our uh, dressings here for whatever we order. Like I always do, I'm going to show you the menu, the name of the place, La Pampa, since 1987. This actually is an Argentinian restaurant, not a Salvadorian restaurant, but it took off here um, pretty popularly. So you can uh, get all kinds of uh, barbecued steaks, chicken, uh, pretty much I want to say American food, but done in a Latino kind of way, seafood. Let's see, yeah, here's seafood, hamburgers, of course you can get drinks, we just ordered beer. How do you like uh, your beef? Rare, medium rare? Uh, like last time, right? Uh, tres cuartos. 
los camarones se le pueden preparar al ajillo, a la parrilla o empanizado. Mm. Your shrimp, do you want it breaded on the grill? The shrimp? Do you want it breaded on the grill? What is breaded? Uh, kind of like a tempura. Kind of. Or do you want it like this? Grilled. Maybe this. Uh -huh. Ah, sí. A la parrilla. A la parrilla, sí. Ok, ¿qué más sería? Y con eso, eso viene con dos. Con papa horno y vegetales al vapor. Mm, vaya, va a ser arroz y los vegetales. Alright guys, so just ordered our food. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. The restaurant is actually filling up. So the food is here. We got beef on the plate, chicken, and chorizo with vegetables. Itadakimasito. Alright guys, no tripod, so I have to kind of use whatever I have on the table. Uh, but we're gonna eat now. Perfect. I asked for a medium rare. I'll give you some backstory. So he's only been here like a week and a half, and he's gonna leave in two days. So right now I'm gonna ask him what he thinks of his time here, and um, if he would come back. Yes, yes I will, because I believe that now El Salvador is changing and improving itself, so I would like to see how it's going to be improved in the future, and I'm, I'm, I believe that tourism in El Salvador will be blooming in the near future, like within five years. So I, will, I definitely want to come back and see what happens. What do you think about safety-wise? Honestly, I haven't encountered any threat or dangerous situation. Dangerous situations at all in El Salvador. I think the situation has been improving a lot. Mm -hmm. So as long as you stay in a safe area, mm -hmm. you don't see any gangs or something like that. Actually, I was kind of I was kind of scared before I came to El Salvador because of what you heard. Yeah, because if you search El Salvador in Japanese, it's all about gangs and homicide rate is the highest in the world, blah 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 blah, whatsoever. But in reality, here is actually so safe.